Um, so welcome to our first women's only session uh, for you to G2 program. And um, we don't have a lot of people here, but we hope others will join us um, maybe in the coming weeks. Um, so maybe just a small introduction about um, the women's empowerment channel or the goal for this group is um, so normally in the world that we currently live in, um, women, there are some scenarios that come uh, with women believing that they can take up as much space and also um, be empowered as much as the boys. And the goal for this um, session is to have number one to empower the women that we have in our team number two to have more tailored um, assistance for the technical challenges that we have so if you're afraid of speaking up if you're maybe um if you're afraid of speaking up or you have some more challenges this is also a better space for you to express yourself and then you can get more guidance and generally just share ideas together about how we're all maneuvering um how we're all maneuvering the the world and work in all and yeah that's basically all the goals for this my name is margaret and i'm, I'm your careers tutor and i'll also be leading the this women's only session um so yeah welcome Mide. i saw you just joined um so yeah we were talking about how the goals for this um women's only group so number one was to empower women to be to become their best selves number two is to have tailored or more assistance given to the women in terms of the technical exercise and number three to exchange ideas and also grow in this industry especially in project management um, for others to learn if they're already in the field um yeah so we for today since we don't have a lot of people joining we would just go around and number one state just get to know each other so you could just introduce yourself um and so yeah introduce yourself what you do and how you see the current how currently the program is for you how maybe the technical challenges are going for you and also uh, maybe just one or two views of why do you think women empowerment is necessary and also how can we as women empower ourselves to take up more space in the real world so if you're ready um, maybe Delano or Midi you can just start and introduce yourself Yeah, um, good morning. Oh, my name is Midi, and I'm a product designer. Ah, uh, okay. So I joined this training to actually I initially thought it was um product management when I, while I got the link because a friend sent forwarded the link to me, and then when I when I clicked on the link, I then found out it was um uh i then found out it was more project management which i was inclined to also you know participate in okay so um my view on women empowerment i think that while it's getting better i feel like we can also always do more um in my own little way i participate in um training women actually not just women teenagers actually in product design and um and stuff like that i take summer training summer classes free of charge just to train um teenagers and they're interested in product designing and stuff like that however i also aim to also do more when it comes to empowering women and not just tech skills actually but you know in other areas in other things that i feel like women should learn about 
I don't know about anyone else's um, view, but I am a feminist and it's something that I'm always very passionate about. So, um, yes, I think that women empowerment in every, in every area of our lives, be it career-wise, um, intellectually, financially, socially, family life, in every way, actually, I feel like it is very, very necessary it is important because the truth is it looks like for women the world now is now regressing rather than progressing because you, you go online and then you read so many things so many laws being um being um, put into place that do not benefit women there was one i read yesterday i think in iraq the age group for marriage whatever now has been moved from 15 to 9 year old and it was just yesterday the whole news just kind of spoiled my view and, and my mood yesterday. And so the whole thing is, I feel like, yes, it is necessary. It is something that people should, women especially, should, I don't know, take more serious in every in every area. And then how can we women take more space? Well, by, you know, equipping ourselves with, with things, with the necessary skills, with the necessary knowledge to be able to compete in any, you know, compete with other people, namely men anyways, in the field, in our career field, in any way where we do not have to, we do not have to lobby, we do not have to do things we do not want to do to get what we want or what we need. I believe that once women are able to, you know, come together, to um assist one another to grow to help one another to um to 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 pull each other up to put one another to pull one another up you know it would help it would help place women in 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 in, in important places where important decisions concerning women can be made uh, concerning women would be made that would ensure the um the growth the, the the safety and you know more empowerment for women to put women in more leadership positions for instance the the i'm sure everyone knows about the election going on in the usa now between the democrats and the republicans how it looks like it's looking good for kamala right now and you know stuff like that those are the changes if kamala wins should be the first you know, female president, and aside from a race and stuff like that, but that that would be something very, very to be an accomplishment, to be something great, you know, for women too in the aspect. So yes, women empowerment. I think it's very, very important. I think that for women to to take up more space, we need to equip ourselves with the necessary knowledge to compete with other people without having to do unnecessary things, without having to 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 take unnecessary um treatment and to also be able to be open to helping one another in spaces where we feel like this person is inadequate, this lady is inadequate, this woman is inadequate. And when they reach out to you, even when, you know, because most times women, we when it comes to reaching out, really, I, for one, I'm not really good at it. That's my own personal work. I'm not really good at reaching out when I when I need help. It's something I'm just learning to do. So I, I'm usually very appreciative when I notice, when I see that someone, a lady, notices that I need something and then they reach out to me. I'm usually very touched by it. So I think that's something I also I also learned to also do. When I notice someone needs something, I, I tend to go out of my way to also help them. So yes. Um, I think that covers it for now for me. Um, thanks, Mide. That was very comprehensive. And I like the views that you have on growing and empowering women. I also like that you're a feminist. I think sometimes I'm also a feminist. Um, so just maybe another follow-up question is, how can we as ten academy try to offer help or 
try to help you, especially throughout your coursework to better, to <clears throat> possibly improve performance and also like become your better selves. Um, do you have any ideas? Well, I think for now, really, I think um, I really do not have more suggestions to give, except which, by the way, I think it's really just my fault. Thankfully, we are working on time management this week. It's actually something I need to take more serious. I've not been able to manage my time really well, so I, can, I really cannot say that um, the time allocated for the tasks, for the two different tasks we have to work on, isn't enough. I think it's rather on me to to be able to work towards, you know, reaching those um, those time deadlines and stuff like that. But really, I think for now, the mentors and the tutors they've been really, really, really um, helpful. They've been they've been very they've been very um, open to to helping people. I even hide that I feel very um, I f I do not feel um, comfortable asking for help. I I I notice how open and how willing they have to help. So I think for now, from my own perspective. Then academy they are actually doing really great in helping people um learn and making this journey easier for the time part i think it should, it should be on my own hand but regardless or regardless any other thing i think that's 10 academy for now they're doing really good and um helping me in particular learn Um, thanks. Thanks also for that. Um, glad to hear that um, Ten Academy is um, up to your expectations. So another thing that we offer with the women's session is um, we also offer extra help or extra help to the trainees specifically. So if you're probably experiencing um, technical challenges, you're stuck somewhere. Um, we also the women's um, the women's group is there also for you to ensure that you improve also on your technical assignment. Thank you very much for your contribution. Um, Delano, can you can you speak up and maybe just introduce yourself and answer the questions in the chat? We'd like to also get your views on this. I'm not sure she's with us. I'm also I'm also confused. I'm not sure if the Lanyo is a female's name or or male's name. I can tell from the country countries foreign. Um but yeah, so since the Lanyo cannot speak now, um, so half of our session is, the first half is always um, meant for um, women empowerment, trying to teach confidence. Um, yes, Mide. Okay, yeah, so I just thought of something. One way that I feel 10 academic can also ensure it's this training gets more goes on more smoothly for us is you know work i i'm usually unable to attend some sessions so when i eventually get to want to go back to them they're usually not yet on the youtube channel so please if that can be worked on to um accelerate the upload of recordings for the tutorial sections it would really be very much appreciated Um, yes, I think we'll work on that. I think normally it takes about two to three hours for the recording to be saved to Google and then uploading is another hour. So I think that's what sometimes causes delay, but we'll try as much to also 
we'll tell the person in charge so they can improve also on that. Thank you for that suggestion. Okay, now, so, like I was saying, the first half is always meant for um, women empowerment and the other half is always tailored for assistance in the technical space. Since midday, you're like the only one here today. Um, do you have any um, any questions regarding the technical challenge where you're stuck? If something, uh, if you wanted to ask something, we have ready it in the team here, and she can maybe guide you through it. Okay, so I think that. Um, for uh, as regards to technical challenge stuff, I the only um, blocker I think I seem to be having right now is um, the filtering the CVs. It's like it's kind of ethic. When when I I've I've not really had time to really go over the tutorial again for how to. Um, how to um, filter the surveys to match the job descriptions and stuff like that. When you used chat GTP, uh, GP, GTP, yeah, it's it's kind of. I think it was using the premium version, and I the version I I have is the um the free one. And so he said he was going to. I don't know if it was the one, but someone said something to about um a and um a management tool to that can also a software tool that can also help um you know in filtering the cvs for us but really i think it's just really um having to filter the cvs and then the final submission um the final submission the method to use in submitting i'm kind of confused do we also submit um by um submitting the google the link to a google drive or are we writing it down in like a word format and then submitting a pdf submitting a pdf um the link in um, the link in form of a pdf so I, I i really don't understand how the submission is supposed to go and also how to um filter the cvs and um match it with with the drop descriptions, it's kind of confusing using, especially as I am on the free version of Chat GPT. So I don't know how to go about that since I can't upload five because you said minimum of five each for each job descriptions from the CVs, minimum of five um, each to upload. And it was able to upload five files, different files of the CVs. So I don't know if you could go through that, please, and also. The final submission, how we're supposed to submit it, the format in which we are supposed to use to submit um, the task. No, community. So, uh, for the uh, filter to use for the filter for the CV, we all are using, so most of us are using the file, the free version of the uh, chat GPT. So, you, you don't need to worry about uploading five files in one time, is not. Uh, good method it is not going to have a good analysis number one and number two it is uh, so as you have said it might have really need so you can just upload one one folders but uh like for me i have recommended uh another link for the cv generate i mean for uh filtering the cvs that had heard the equation on stand-ups and that is where i have recommended a site it is just a site you can just upload the cv and you can check whether um that CV had the food. It's actually not for the for our case. Okay, it is for people who are who are on the hiring space or hiring managers. They it's made for them in order to, uh, like not for them actually for us in order to um, make our CV appropriate for them to see. Okay, so it will let us like uploading our CV will let us know if our CV had the main things that is supposed to have uh like it is if it is fulfilled and things like that okay that is the thing the but in this case we can just check for the site so that we can know whether the cv that is given that we are given with had the full things that a normal cv will have and we can use it for that type of analysis so yeah you can use the link so maybe uh 
what I have recommended was that I don't know, maybe you got another recommendation to use uh, chat GPT. Of course, you can. So you can attach your file uh, or the file that you want to do, and you can give it a good prompt uh, telling it what specific thing that you're expecting to be done. Like, go analyze this and do that and things like that. Okay. So that is for the CV filtration. And the second one is for the submission. Of course, you're going to send as usual or okay as the first week you're going to submit a link which is containing a pdf file okay not a link on a pdf format but you're going to build a pdf so and you're going to upload it on google drive then you're going to share us the google drive link so um if it is i'm not sure what is specifically are you expected on the job description part so for example if you're supposed to write uh three or four job description in different folder or if you are going to create uh, one file, I mean, not folder, file, one file per one job description, then at the end of the day, you're going to put them on a folder and you're going to share us the link for that folder, which is going, which is containing a PDF for different job description. Do I get your point? Or do you get my point? And do I get your t-shirt right? Mire? Um. Yes, please. Okay, so I did task four. The communicate the reporting and communication. It says organize the data into categories um, such as table. Um, I'm 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 thinking it's going to be in a table format. So what tool are we supposed to use for that? Please? Okay, maybe uh, I'm having a uh, difficulty finding finding the task. So can you share me the link here so that we can save time? The link for the uh, technical document. Okay. He's all done. Okay. I will try to search you by here too. Okay. Should I can find it on Slack? I thought if it is just there. That's it. I'm not sure. I'll give the file. I dropped it in the Which chat. Part? Yeah, I also can see here. Okay, which part? Page what? And the uh, is that for the final submission or task what? Do you want me to look on? Um, the final. The, no, the final submission from task. Um, I think task four. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Reporting and communication. Yeah, okay. What was the question again? This phase of the project? Mm -hmm. yes, right. yes, yes, based on the project. I said um is the the second point, the second bullet point, it said something about using organizing the data into categories such as strengths, weaknesses and um skills experience and cultural fit and then it says use table to track to keep track of this information so i, I want to know what um tool are we supposed to use for that table because i hope it's not okay it is just a table like if you're using of you if you're building no, your uh, document using words or probably google sheets then you can just insert a table for that so what is this like you're not supposed to use any unique type of tool but what is this trying to address is in order to do or in order to have a report in communication format for all the things that we that, that are mentioned above, um, you can use those types of features like the strengths, weakness, skills. You can, uh, for example, if you're trying to uh, choose people or candidates, then you can use those um, features and you can put them just in a table, in a row table, and you're not supposed to use any different type of tools, okay? So those tables and uh, yeah, those features are supposed to be included on the document, like 
if you're writing a note or like things like that, you can just insert a table below that. And at the end of the day, you're going to send me the link for the PDA format that you, you, you're going to convert the your document to PDF, then you're going to submit that PDF, the link for that PDF format, okay? So you don't need to worry about what type of tools am I supposed to use. Midi, where uh, was I audible? Okay, Margaret, am I audible? Okay, Midi, are you here? Okay, thank you. Uh, no, like, ha have you given my point? Have you understood my point? If not, we can discuss one. Yes, I said yes, thank you. I heard you. Thank you. Okay, maybe uh, it's my network i'm not sure but midday's voice is breaking in my side okay i will write it maybe Margaret, I think you can take over. Um, please, we have finished. Mm -hmm. so please, is the meeting over? Because I really need to leave now. Yeah, I think we can end the meeting here. Amelia, uh, thank you for being here. I will communicate with Margaret. Thank you for um, yes, if, too. If you have and no I think that question. go on, Midi. No, we can hear you. Okay, yeah. So I just think that maybe next time, if there could be like a period notice of the meetings for women, maybe a day before or so, so that people will be more aware. I just I logged into um into um slack that was when i just saw it i had no idea we were having a meeting before so i guess that's why most people um are not in attendance so i think it would be great if we could have like a period notice before the actual meeting time yeah sure 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 we're going to do that for the next uh, week meeting and of course you're going to say uh the contents or the things that you've said uh, about like supporting each other and things like that on the next station because it will feel like the first station to I guess we will literally let you to say that or they giving give you the chance to talk about that. And thank you for being here. Yeah. Good work. Um, thank you. Have a great day. And also, I'll still reach out to you as regards the first tax, please. I hope you don't mind. Because it's kind of tough. Oh, sorry, I, I was not able to hear you. As late as me.